Well, so look at a Richmond judge's ruling that independent candidate Sean Brown won't be on the ballot in the second congressional district race. That ruling came yesterday in a lawsuit that alleges members of Republican incumbent Scott Taylor's campaign staff forged signatures to get Brown on the ballot. Yesterday, the court concluded the petition contained, quote, forgery, perjury, fraud, and significant material without a doubt. A judge also said each petition page is invalid because Brown's address is wrong on all of them. The judge disqualified petitions and signatures collected by Taylor's staffers and those submitted by Brown herself. Democrats sued state elections officials to remove Brown from the ballot. They claimed Taylor's campaign wanted Brown on the ballot to boost Taylor's re-election chances by weakening support for his Democratic opponent, Elaine Lewis.